Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing a design for a hidden door that you can put in your enchantment room. It does not have to be for an enchantment room, though I'm just showing you it in an enchantment room. So you see, it just looks like a regular enchantment room. You could use it as a regular enchantment room too. And when we flick our button right there, you'll see that our door will open. And we'll come out the back. So this design is actually one wide and we can just take off all this front part to show you the actual size. So you can see that it is now this size. All you gotta do is put your button right there and that's how it works. So let's get right into our tutorial. First off, we'll start in our lower left corner. You'll want to place a block, like so, a dropper, and coming out of there, you'll want two observers facing outward, a block, piece of redstone, four tick repeater, into a double piston extender, going vertically. Then from here, you'd like to place a piston right here, and you'll want observers coming up like that. And right here, off of this observer or off that dropper, you want an observer. And then from here, you want an observer placed right there. From there, you'll want to place a piston facing downward onto it like that. And your observer will come out the top and face downward. Then you'll place in your observer or in your uh, dropper or note block whichever you prefer, and see, our door will fully close, and fully open. So technically you don't need this part right here. You can just use this with a one tick pulse input, but that is totally up to you. So hope you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you next time.